Hey friends, so if you're anything like me, then you're probably funny and charming. But not only that, you probably also have this strange kind of noetic sense that love is the fabric that holds the whole universe together. And it's this incredibly powerful force that animates everything that, that is and, uh, and, and, and unifies everything that is. It's the connected tissue that holds this whole fucking shit show together. And so the, it interests me that when we talk about love uh, for another person, romantic love, we describe the process of falling in love. You know, we use the L word and because um, it's the best we can do. You know, it's, this, uh, it's the best we can do. It's a low resolution word for a very, very complex and nuanced sort of experience. And uh, the, in my experience, and I think, and I'm curious, I'd like to know, know uh, uh, how you feel about this, but the, the experience of falling in love and the experience of heartbreak is the same feeling. It's the same feeling in the body, uh, the sleeplessness and the, you completely forget about eating, you're fucking away with the fairies, you know, the, uh, there's pretty much no, uh, being present is very, very difficult in, the, in, in these states, you know, and, um, and so the, it seems to me, and, and the body load, the feeling in, in, my, in my body is the same. It like hurts. It's this sort of pressure. You can feel your sort of heart being squeezed. And it's only the context that is different. And in the, in the, the sort of on-ramp, falling in love, the heartache is just beautiful. You know, and, you, and, and, and the, the loss of appetite, you don't even think about food because you're, you're literally high on all these just glorious neurochemicals that are teeming through your brain and teeming through your heart. And there's... Um, you know, this, uh, your romantic interest is just the focal point of your, your whole sort of universe. And, and, um, and then change the context though. And, uh, and in a heartbreak scenario where, where you feel like something is, is, has been, uh, something that was, is not anymore, or something has been, uh, changed and forever damaged or taken away from you or you taken away from it or whatever, any infinite amount of scenarios that could, could result in the experience of a heartbreak. Um, the body load is the same. It's the same sensation, that nauseousness and you, know, you lay awake at night and you're tossing and turning and so on. It's just the context that's different, you know? But the, I think um, what's important is to remember that in a heartbreak experience, what you're experiencing is still love. It's still that, that uh, incredibly potent energy that, that um, you know, that pervades every single thing that is, you know? And what you're feeling uh, when, when your heart breaks and you can, and I, I sort of like to, uh, sort of visualize it as, as something, some kind of substance bleeding out of your heart. And that's love. And it's an incredibly uh, powerful and creative force. And again, I don't know if it, I don't know if, uh, if you can relate, but in, when I'm on that on-ramp or off-ramp, I feel extremely creative. That, uh, that, that power is, is a creative force. And, and the, the, um, the thing to remember, the thing that I'm, I'm um, trying to implement in my life and remind myself of is that don't sit there and let that shit bleed onto the floor. It's really, really precious and it's so, so potent. So, so, um, uh, utilize it, you know, figure out some way of, uh, of transmuting that into a creative endeavor, um, and, and, and enrich, uh, this meat space with an expression of, of what you're experiencing, um, and what, however that might look. Um, and I don't know what that looks like for me, this maybe, you know, um, uh, I think, I think for me, it's, um, it's feeling out loud, you know, like, uh, this, this shit is on my mind all the time. And, and, uh, and I'm, uh, like, I'm pretty good at thinking out loud, you know, but what I really want to try to train myself to do is to feel out loud, you know, ex uh, uh, try to articulate and try to bring into the world what's happening in my internal, internal environment, you know, my internal process. And, um, cause I mean, again, if you're anything like me, you probably, uh, have a deep noetic sense that we are all the same thing. And if I'm experiencing this, then there's a good chance that you are too, or have, or will, you know, and, um, and the, um, yeah, the, that's why the fuck we're here, you know, to trade notes and, and our little, little meaty fleshy organisms, that's not the important bit. It's this golden thread of information and, and, um, and, and, and this, this body of work, you know, that, and body of experience that we're all are contributing to. So maybe that's what this is. I'm not even sure what this is, but it's on my mind and I have to fucking spit it out right now. So there it is. Bye. Love you.